Hey guys and welcome to Miniature Adventures. So today we're going to have another playthrough. But today it's going to be Warhammer Quest, Shadows have a Hammer Howl. Um, now my son and I we have Silver Tower and Hammer Howl. Um, and we're going to do a series I think on these. Um, we were going to start with Silver Tower which is technically comes first. But we, we thought we'd go with this dynamic of a DM and my son. And we may have a few guest people along the way playing different characters and just kind of mix it up so we're going to get all set up and then we're going to get back to you and we hope you uh, enjoy the adventure we'll see you in a minute uh well i have to move into the room so it wouldn't matter you could use the destiny to move in and then i already used one oh I so see. it wouldn't matter i think i'll just save it and i'll just turn into a five next round automatically okay then we're gonna switch to Lord Castellant and No, uh, your torch is on the Black Art Fleet Master, which means your Lore Master is next. What? You go by oh I see. Have you already rolled those? Yeah. Okay. I, I already yeah, I did those already. I was on the cogsmith's turn. My book is gone. <laughs> You're fine. Yes, we got that six. With that six, I can take that and put that under healing light. Put the hero dice here until the end of the round, which is as soon as I'm done with this turn. When you remove the dice, remove a wound marker from all heroes in the party who are on the board, so the lore master will be completely healed. However, the black arc fleet master will not, because it's not, because it's a grievous wound, not a regular wound. Unfortunate. Or does it? No. It I can't it support, it can't uh, heal grievous wounds. No. Well, that's unfortunate. But it should, it'll heal him for his turn when he starts up. Um... But we're going to go ahead and actually just do some searching for Lord Castellan. And the room he's in, or are you going to move him into it? Uh, you could use the last destiny to move in. I could. I can make it there in two dice. Oh, uh, no, I can't, because I have to go around him, don't I? No, 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 you can go oh, through. Oh, you can move through? Yeah. No. Oh, we said that earlier, didn't we? Yeah, you um, just can't land on him. Uh, I would move. I would land on him. Well, you could go to the two in front of him, and then use the next dice to come in. Fair enough. We'll do that. I'll just pull the three. And go one, two, three. Yeah. And then, and then one, two, three. Just go to the side of the other room. Oh, and you set up a trap. No, I'm just messing. Not you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I did for a second. I was like, oh, crap. Um, let's search for a six. Nope. Search for a five. Yes. Got it. Okay. So, tell me what I get. I was the next contestant on The Price is Right. Mm -hmm. and the price was right. Flash some wing ding 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 signs or something. Okay. Do I get any gold? Yeah, you get the gold. Yay! Pushing a loose brick reveals a hidden doorway. Please be a secret door. Please be a secret door. And you have found a way out of the dungeon. Whoa! Hmm. Do I want to go through this or no? That will take you to one quest. Hmm. But there's more to offer in this one. And also more ways to die, maybe. I don't want to die! I guess I have already died in this month before. Several times, actually. The adventurers can go through this quest and then go through the other one. Could just go ahead and go straight down through this and go to the next one. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, maybe go down. Just go ahead and go down, you think? I mean, yeah, that's it. All four have to be on, don't they? Mm. No, I mean, well, yes. Yes, technically, yes. Okay, well. But they'll all get there. They, well, depends, because after this, no... I won't do any ambushes, but... You're well, no, to... because it would, because there's no enemies. I know, so I could technically do an ambush. Yeah. But I'm saying I won't do any ambushes, but if you roll the Destiny dice, and there are, um... You get rid of all of them, then there will be an ambush. So it's worth doing that. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to... Lord Castellan can't move first, but we are going to remove everyone heals except for the poor Black Ark Fleet Master. Mm -hmm. 
and then torchbearer passes. Oh, cross our fingers and pray. Oh, cross our fingers and pray. Oh, okay. Whew. Got a two, okay, a four, but not, a six. But not everyone will get through. Yeah, it won't matter. All four will make it. So. Okay, so we will uh, be back in a second um, with the, uh, the with our end reports. So we'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, oh, welcome back. So, Michael found a way out of the dungeon. Hopefully I can thwart his efforts next time. <laughs> so the next uh, adventure should hopefully be posted next week. We're glad to see you there. If you want to support the channel, we do have Patreon. Find us on there, Miniature Adventures. Or, we have some great t-shirts. We have some great coasters. Even do D&D &D coasters um, and mugs. And it's all how to support the channel for uh, keeping us going. So, if you want any of this merchandise, just head over to Hollingdale Hobbies on Facebook. And uh, we'll be able to order the uh, bits for you there. So, from all of us here at Miniature Adventures, keep on gaming. Keep that plastic and metal crack in your system. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.